Hello everyone, it's Francesco here. Thank you very much for Scott for having me on the Simplicity channel here on YouTube and I really do appreciate him having me on here. I've been on here before and I've loved talking to you guys about productivity apps and resources and if you haven't checked out his content, if you're brand new to this video, go over and check all his stuff out. He does awesome features, everything from inbox to calendar. It's really amazing, so definitely worth checking it out. But in today's video, what I wanted to do is cover Todoist. Um, so I run a very similar YouTube channel to Scott covering productivity apps and going a bit deeper with them. So in today's feature, we're going to look at five Todoist hacks that you can use that will help benefit you throughout your day. So let's get stuck in. Over here, the first one I wanted to talk about is in the settings. It is start page. Now, many people don't know about this tip, and it's actually one of the best ways to really optimize your experience. So once you're in settings, whether you're using the web, uh, mobile versions, go over to preferences and you'll see start page. Now today is obviously set by default. That's one I use personally, but you can actually create um, a specific thing. So you can actually have next seven days appear. So whenever you are to do this, whenever you open it up on the app or the Mac or Windows, etc., you will get this page. So this is a start page that you land on. Now you can see everything from overdue today or you can actually delve into a project. Now, I previously used um, Do as my project, which had all of my sort of main targets there, but it got a bit too weird sometimes, so I actually just kept it with today, and that's one of the best ways to start, but if you want to modify that, that's available in preferences and can easily be changed. So moving down to labels as well, uh, this is one of the things that I, I recommend to everyone because as you can see on my actual timeline of tasks for today, you can see that there are associations of time, so replying to all YouTube comments will be take 10 minutes. I have these labels set up, so if you're on premium, you can actually see these labels uh, appear, and once you sign up, once you create the color and actually appear for five minutes, when you create a task, so like uh, eat cheesecake, for example, you can assign it with the at, and maybe that's gonna take five minutes. And once that appears, you can actually click in and see all of the other tasks that you can complete in five minutes. Now, this is actually a really effective way um, to keep productive and a great way if you've got five minutes to be able to spend it wisely and actually help plan in advance. So that's one of my top tips for people who want to optimize their Todoist account. So the other thing as well is the idea of this project comments. So for those who don't know, you can create projects down the left hand side. I have mine for all of my different activities. But the one thing that people don't know is uh, do, like for example, in a project, so it could be home. Um, if I click project comments, you can actually add any comments here, any attachments as well, uh, audio files and emoji if you like. Um, so it's a good way actually having project comments there to add any maybe if you want to add targets to a specific project or, a, or an attachment or a voice recording telling you what that project's about, for example. So it's actually a very handy way to have that, especially when you're working in Teams and you want to add some more information, maybe some guidelines and information about how to use Todoist. You could just pin it there. So it's actually a very useful resource. So the other thing that I want to recommend is being able to save into Todoist. So if you go over to your settings page, um, you'll be able to see uh, that you obviously you've got your account and login information there, but you also have um, this thing in projects uh, called email in. So you can actually email tasks into the project using a specific URL, uh, sorry, not URL, email address. So if you copy this email address to the, uh, the, the clipboard, all you have to do is whenever you go into email, so if I'm on my email here and I wanna send it to that, so if I open it up, you can see that it's a specific to this account and I say uh, get groceries, groceries. Uh, how do you spell groceries? This is a learning point for me today. And there we go, I'll send that into the Todoist uh, account. It'll take a few moments to uh, appear, but obviously the sync works really well on Todoist. But once that appears, uh, so here we are, the email appeared and it actually links back to all of the other information inside the email too. So it's a great way for you to actually just quickly email in tasks, or if you wanna add a thread, very helpful as well. So there are some of the useful tips I have inside of Todoist. The only other recommendation in the final hack is actually on your iPhone to make sure that you've got Todoist saved in as extension. Uh, I'll include the link to that in the description so that you can go away and install that. But every time you see an article, save it into Todoist because it's actually a great way. Over here in my read section, I save any articles that I need to read and I've actually been very helpful at being able to clip them for later. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this feature. If you haven't subscribed to Scott yet, do subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to myself, do subscribe as well because I put out regular content too, which I'm sure you enjoy if you enjoy Scott's channel. And we do regular collabs as well. So Scott will come on my channel. He's just done a feature on um, Trello hacks. So there's even more benefit to subscribing to us both. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. And thanks very much to Scott for having me. I'm looking forward to seeing you all very soon. Cheers.